All right. Um, hey everyone, today I'm going to be telling you how to make cars using the new Big Maps add-on pack in Trials HD. Now first off, obviously you want to get a wheel. So you're going to get your wheel and then you're going to rotate it so it's vertical and use the right stick to lock it to the grid line. Now what you're going to do is you're going to move that wheel, copy it with the Y button, snap that to the grid line, and then left bumper select both. So your left bumper A on one, A on the other, and snap them both back to the grid. I'm going to space them out a little bit. So The next step we want to do is we're going to take, we're going to go into our menu, we're going to take a medium rotation hinge from the add-on. Put, Make that vertical, lock it to grid, and level it with where you think is a good spot with the tires. Alright, well now I'm getting a vehicle suitable for my car. I'm just going to use the car because it's easy to use and it's a good example for visual remembering. So right now I'm just leveling that with the wheels. <coughs> Excuse me. So get your vehicle or you know your body of the car, whatever you want it to be, it could be a plank, you know, whatever you think is good, and just level it. Now you need to put physics on both wheels and you're going to have to attach both wheels to just one side of the rotation hinge. Right now I'm testing it to see which side I'm going to attach it on. And if you screw up, don't worry, you can always fix it. So right now I can see the right side is what I need to attach it to. So I'm gluing both wheels to the right side of the rotation hinge, as you see right there. If you don't do this, the wheels will not move, so you want to do that. So now you'll left over select both of them, even it out a little bit. Alright, well now I'm going to attach the car to the rotation hinge to make sure that it works. So I'm attaching to the left side now, since the wheels touch the right, I'm going to press the back button, and sure enough it works. So now I'm going to left bumper select all three, both wheels and the rotation hinge, Move it up to the front, right bump, or right, sorry, uh, right click it so that it locks to the grid line. Now I'm going to spend a little bit of time just aligning it. Of course, you, know, you can do this also. Make sure the left bumper select the car as well so you don't move the wheels that were already attached. So now do the same thing again, gluing the car to the left side of the rotation hinge and press the back button. As you can see, you have your own working car. Congratulations. Thanks for watching.